Number 28. Write the expression of the reaction quotient for the ionization of HOCN in water. Okay, so remember, we've done tons of work uh, doing reaction quotients, right? Remember, reaction quotient is just Q. So um, we're going to be basically making this formula down here. It's the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And only aqueous and gases are allowed. But I see that I have a product and I see that I have reactants. That always comes from a equation. They didn't give me an equation here. So I got to make one. So it seems like we're doing the ionization of HOCN in water. Okay. So I have HOCN. And this has to be coming in contact with water. Now we're talking about reaction quotients, which is an equilibrium idea. So it has to be coming uh, to equilibrium, right? But now I need to figure out what those products are. Well, in order to, to determine that, we can figure out what's going on here. Now I see that there's an H in the front of this compound, right? Whenever you see an H in the front of a compound, that is an acid. Now this isn't one of your strong acids, it's not one of your six strong acids, but it's an acid nonetheless, so it's going to do the same exact idea. So if you have an acid, the other compound, which is H2O in this case, has to be acting as the base. Okay, so now from that information, we can figure out what the two products are. The acid will lose a hydrogen, mainly because acids always give away their hydrogens. So if it was HOCN and then it gave away its hydrogen, it would now be OCN. But we got to be even better than that, right? Remember, HOCN is broken down into H plus. It's the hydrogen, right? It's the proton. And then OCN minus, this is one of your polyatomics, right? So when it does that, this has a negative value. Now, what's going on with the water, right? H2O, if this lost the hydrogen, where do you think it went? It went to the water. So it, it used to be H2O, but now since it gained another hydrogen, how many hydrogens would be here? Not two anymore, but three. And since it gained an H plus, right, this has to be a positive charge because the two H's made it neutral. If you added one more positive, it's now H3O plus. Now we just need to find out the states of these. So first, let me just get rid of this. Okay. Now, there's a, a trick here. Anytime that you have ions, whether, you know, meaning you have charges at the upper right-hand corner, these are going to be aqueous. So AQ and AQ. Water is acting as the solvent, right? And water is generally a liquid. The acid over here is going to be aqueous. It's going to be in the liquid media. That's what aqueous means. It's in water. And water is just acting as the solvent here. Now we can pause the video to see if it's balanced, but this equation is balanced. So now we're just ready to write our QC values. QC equals something divided by something else, right? Products over reactants. And only aqueous and gases are allowed. So here's an aqueous, here's an aqueous, here's an aqueous, but this, the water is a liquid. We do not include this in our QC equation. We needed it to make the products, but we do not need it when we are writing the QC formula. So let's go, products. We got these two products, right? So just standard notation of brackets. I have OCN minus, close that bracket. There was just, you know, there was no coefficient in front. Remember, that just means that there was one of these. So you could raise it to the first, but you don't have to. And then times by the H3O plus, so that's the other product close that up, right? That's also raised to the first, but you don't have to write that. And then 
Maybe I'll just bring this over a little bit. And then the last one is the HOCN. Bracket that off. HOCN, that's a reactant. I'll put that in blue, even though it's an acid, but you kind of get the color coding. Close that up. You could raise it to the first, but we don't have to. And that's that. This is your uh, expression for this one. Guys, what do you think? Hope for this help. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. And I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.